Oh, imagine it's raining. Can you believe it? It's so hard to believe. Here's your story. Let's begin. The water's fine. Come on, dive in. The future's here. It's right before your eyes. It's here today. It's here. I get to go get it. Here's my ride. Here it is. It took, well, let's just say a long time. Um, it's a 45 degree angle, not quite shotgun. It has a little wind buffer. And I have to admit, I already uh, tore it open. And here we go. So now, maybe, the sound will be decent. There we go. Sound! So I keep getting asked about the camera equipment that I use. Um, there's my new acquisition, this uh, wonderful little microphone. Uh, this is a Canon SX60, um, which I'm very partial to, and it has this feature here of the swing out uh, viewfinder, which is very handy uh, for the videos. This is a camera that uh, I had to use for a while. I, that wasn't something I could use for uh, through a lot of these videos. Uh, this is the one that I had to use, and while it's a great camera for pictures, it's not very good for uh, videos. There's no flip-out screen, there's no um, external microphone port, and so I had to use the microphone in this camera, and something went haywire, and the sound was just terrible. Uh, that's just the uh, standard 55 millimeter lens on it. And here's my recent acquisition, which I really like and really enjoy, and it has uh, lots of little features, is my GoPro 5. And so that's basically it, along with a little assortment of various macro, wide angle, um, that sort of thing, lenses. That's a, that's a um, 300 millimeter uh, lens there. I've got a ton of filters, and I use them more for uh, protecting the lenses than anything else. You can do any kind of filtering you want, really, on your software. So, uh, so that's it. Um, basically, the kind of equipment that you're going to see somebody like me, uh, an amateur, uh, trying to do something uh, different, which for me is videos. And I'm learning a lot, and uh, hopefully I can put that to use. I also ask about uh, software. You'll see here uh, there's a CyberLink Power Director. I also use Filmora, which is, um, I've used that for years and so I'm used to it and I can do things pretty quick. I'm in the process of learning this. It's a very complicated program and it has a lot of uh, separate program features, wave editors, uh, screen recording, uh, audio director, uh, color director. Um, there's some more somewhere. That thing, I don't know. It's a it's a complicated series of programs, and I'll figure it out. 
Um, it does cause me huge delays. I get hung up on it. I could spend days trying to sort something out. And then I say, oh my God, I need to get some videos done. And then I start throwing together in the uh, Wondershare. So, so that's really it. That's the camera equipment. That's the software. And um, that's it. You know you're cool.